Hello, and welcome to this edition of Credit Matters TV. My name is Jimmy Kobolinski, and I'm a Senior Director and Analytical Manager in the U.S. Structured Credit Group. Today, I'll review the third quarter U.S. CLO performance and the outlook for the coming quarter. Issuance at quarter end was just at over $45 billion, and year-to-date issuance is just over $55 billion across 120 transactions. In terms of refinancings and resets, the third quarter saw 13 refis resets close. The month of October has already outnumbered all of third quarter with 22 refis and resets closing, with more expected through the end of the year, although we expect the pace of closings to slow down as risk retention deadline inches uh, closer. Onto the CLO performance, the third quarter saw 151 U.S. CLO tranche upgrades from 47 transactions and three downgrades from three transactions. In addition, five tranche ratings were placed on Credit Watch negative from four transactions. The majority of the upgrades came from reinvesting CLO 2.0 transactions that are nearing the end of their reinvestment periods. The upgrades were mostly at the senior part of the capital structure, AA and single A levels, the rest of the upgrades came from amortizing U.S. CLOs that continue to see large paydowns to their senior liabilities. We have also started focusing on a subset of CLO 1.0 transactions that are seeing some concentration risks as their portfolios begin to amortize and long-dated exposures begin to slowly increase as a percentage of the portfolio. We recently lowered one such rating due to these risks. In terms of the performance of the underlying loans, the trailing U.S. 12-month speculative grade default rate at the end of September rose to 5% from 4.3% at the end of second quarter, a six-year high. S&P Global's Global Fixed Income Research is projecting this rate to increase to 5.6% by June 2017, up from the previous estimate of 5.3% through the first quarter of 2017. According to GFIR, more defaults are expected in the next 12 months due to continued stress from oil prices. Depending on CLO exposures to these assets, we may continue to see continued pressure on some of the subordinated CLO 2.0 tranches, which are the most vulnerable to par loss resulting from defaults. To read our full report on CLO performance or other CLO topics, please visit us at www.spratings.com CLO. That concludes this edition of Credit Matters TV. Thanks for joining.